How to slow down and speed up a video. In this tutorial, we will analyze all the options with which you can change the video speed. This time I have great news for you. From the previous lessons, you know what we use in our Easy Edit Viewer lessons. Here is a huge collection of graphic templates, which you can find at the link below the video. The latest update introduces the Assets feature. More than 83 million free media files. Easily surf and import assets from huge library. Import GIFs, images, videos with just one click into your project. Now you don't have to search for media files on different sites. It is enough to open the Assets tab. Find what you need and add to your project with one click. Now I need a dynamic video. Let's use the search and find footage with dynamic videos. Viewed and imported into our project. We create a sequence. I'll use the default template and choose a 16 by 9 sequence with 24 frames per second. After creating a sequence, when importing files from assets, they will appear immediately on the timeline. Very comfortably. Now let's select our file. Sequence settings are not changed. Click with the first mouse button and select scale to frame size. One way to change the speed is the speed, duration function. Here we see the speed of our video and the duration. They are interconnected by themselves. Reverse speed function will display your video in reverse direction. Setting the speed to 200%. The file on the timeline is reduced and the playback speed will be two times higher. With revere speed, Playback goes in reverse. Now let's slow down and select 40%. We slowed down our video, but pay attention to the number of frames per second. There are slight twitching and lack of frames. Stretching the video in two times, we reduce the number of frames per second from 24 to 12. For good results when slowing down, use video with a high frame rate. For example, you need to slow down the video four times. This will require a view of at least 120 frames per second. So that when we slow down by four times, we get 30 frames per second. I added three identical versions of this video to the timeline with the same slowdown. 40% Premiere Pro has three different slowdown options. In the first video we use frame sampling. In this version, the usual video stretching, which we talked about, occurs, with gaps between frames. The second option is optical flow. Here Premiere Pro automatically draws gaps between frames. Looking ahead, I advise you to use it only in video without dynamics and smooth movements in the frame. And the third option is frame blending. 
press enter to render. In the first version, we see a lack of personnel. Here, as they said, with large dynamics in the frame, the program makes a lot of artifacts and cannot calculate adequately. But with low dynamics, it copes well. This option does a good job of our task. In this case, the program inserts the next block with increased transparency. Thanks to this, we see a smoother picture. Now let's see how to create cool speed ramp. To do this, I'll take a video that was filmed at a high frame rate. I'll use the assets tab and find what works for me. Great video. We will use it. Let's speed up this turn of the hand and leave the rest of the video at the same speed as it is now. For the crimp, double click on the layer that contains the video. And with the right key, you need to click on the FX button. Here are all the parameters that can be edited. Now we are interested in speed. There is a duplicate line in the effect controls tab. You can control here and on the timeline as you prefer. We will now accelerate this hand movement. Set the point from which we will change the speed. And the point where acceleration ends. Now by raising the line between the two points, we select the desired speed. what it looks like. Acceleration starts very abruptly and ends abruptly. Let's do it smoothly. Each point can be divided into two parts, thereby setting additional parameters for smoothness. and to smooth out the curve line even more for acceleration. Click on the points and adjust this line. After all the manipulations, we get this result. Try, experiment and make your work easier with the EZEdit viewer.